Yo fam, welcome to Nigel's View. Today is a mad thing. Well, it is a mad thing because I'm leaving my yard so late. So, yeah, I got a little issue. It's dirty as hell up in here. That's number one. Number two, the lights on my license plate, one of them has gone. It's too cold to be jumping up out here and showing you guys. So, I'm just going to go ahead and see if I can get it changed today I went there yesterday and the guy wasn't there so yeah I'm just gonna have to go and see if he's there today if not get one of the other dudes to do it because it does my head in having bulbs out so yeah but these LED bulbs are just not but trouble if you know what I'm talking about comment down below because I've been through so many of them and this one's only just now starting to play up. So yeah, let's go get the car clean first. Oh dear, put up. So we're here getting that good good clean now. Just the inside, can't bother to do the outside because next two days it'll be dirty again. So yeah, quick vacuum and then fix this goddamn light. See the one that's blown there? It's a damn shame. Okay bro, so I'm here now at Beacon Autos. As you can see right there in my side mirror. Check out the angles, bro. Yeah. So what I'm about to do right now is go and see if they can replace these damn LED trouble making bulbs that are blown at the back of my bloody car. And be on my way. Okay fam, so these are the trouble making bulbs that keep blowing. Focus, focus fam. It actually doesn't want to focus today. There we go. These are the trouble making LEDs I keep blowing. So, I'm going to show you what I've had to do. He's put the originals back in. Obviously they're not as bright as the LED ones, but it's fine now. It's not going to blow anytime soon. Fingers crossed. And oh my god, it is so cold. <laughs> I need to go to a hot country, man. I'm sick of this. I'm sick of this coldness, man. Serious. Uh, I would do the vi a food vlog now, go get some food, but let's just uh, head to my mum's and wrap this up. But yeah. These are trouble makers. You know how many pairs of these I've gone through? These odd little car problems is always going to come and out of nowhere. So the best thing to do is just stay on top of it, which is probably why I chose to get a car brand new from the showroom. So therefore, um, it's still under warranty and guarantee. So I think I'm going to stick with this leasing thing. So I've got this car for three years. I've had it since October 2016. So, yep, yeah, once the lease for that is done, I'm going to swap it for another one. And refinance. Best idea for you guys. Comment down below, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video, bro. Peace. Salute to y'all, man. Hit that subscribe button.